What's up everybody, it's Ajax Death. I'm back again for another review. Today we're going to be reviewing 2009's Late Fee. We just want to rent a few movies. So a young couple beg owner of a video store to rent them a few of the most hardcore horror movies that he has in stock. Whoa, 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 not so fast. What are these discs doing on their shelves? Reluctantly, the owner goes ahead and rents the videos to him with the strict, strict rules that they return the videos by midnight that same night. Uh, if they were late, there would be a hefty, hefty late fee. What the? This is a joke, right? Will you just show them your tits? Shut up. Tits? Huh? What? I mean, yeah, I'd see your tits. Midnight, promptly. No exceptions. So the couple get home and they put on the first movie. The first movie is a movie called The Pickup. So The Pickup is about a guy who picks up a prostitute or a call girl and just everything is just ass backwards right out of the gate. She was supposed to be a redhead, she's a blonde. Uh, he wanted to go to his motel room. She insists on going to hers. So they show up at the motel and they're greeted by this fucking guy. He's like waving them in and shit. He's like air traffic controller. Like, park here. Come over here. Do this. So dude pulls in. He's like, what the fuck? He pulls in there. And they go and they're talking at the door. And finally he lets him inside the room. So they get inside the room and the guy remembers, fuck, there was something that I wanted to do. I had a fantasy that I wanted to do. And so he reminds her about the fantasy. And she's like, oh, well, I uh, forgot. And he's like, let's just get it over with. Let's just do it. So she's like, okay, have a seat on the bed. I'm going to go chains. Right now is where I was like, holy shit. Because this girl like takes off this trench coat and just these fucking legs and this ass. It's just like, pow, right? <laughs> shit look at those legs they go up and make an ass out of themselves cuts back to him it shows him he's sitting on the bed with his briefcase he opens it up this dude has fucking dildos and all kinds of crazy shit that he was gonna beat this fucking girl with like spiked fucking with nails and shit it's crazy so he puts it under the bed he's like next time next time so she comes out they're drinking champagne on the bed he tells her that he wants the light off she's like are you fucking kidding me so she turns the light off she starts riding him. It starts feeling really good. He's like, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Like in sequence. Then he's like, I got to see. So he turns on the fucking light. And this bitch has tentacles, dude, for a lower body. Like, what the fuck? So her body is, like, taking over his body. So she's got all these tentacles and shit wrapped around his body. They start going in his mouth and shit. And they just fuck him up. It's fucking crazy, dude. This gives new meaning to tentacle porn. So there, that's, that's the pickup. So now we cut back to the couple that rented the movies. The girl's like, I'm hungry. So he orders a fucking pizza. He's, you know, they're waiting for the pizza to show up. They're like, let's put on the other movie. So they put on the second movie, Damnation. Damnation starts off with a girl driving down the road. She's on the phone with, I guess, her husband or fiance or something talking about somebody's birthday. She gets pulled over by a cop, but not a typical cop. Holy shit. It's the girl from the first fucking movie. It's the prostitute with the tentacle fucking legs. So she's fucking arrested, thrown in the back of the police car, taken to this dark, dark room where the judge, holy shit, it's the fucking air traffic controller guy from the first one, uh, he is the judge, and he sentenced her to death. So she's in a cell with this other girl who happens to be pregnant. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because there was just a lot of talk and it kind of drug a little bit. They pretty much got to a point where they overstepped like any fucking bounds that I've ever seen in a movie other than like Serbian film. Um, so there was this girl that they could hear down the hallway that they said it was a cannibal that they had to feed meat to and shit. So the doctor brings in the pregnant girl and he lays her on a table and he opens her legs and she's like, what are we doing? He's like an experiment for birth control. She's like, it's a little fucking late. And he's like, no, it's not. So he, she's strapped in. He does this weird fucking thing with this thing on the wall. It's a little fucking like door opener and it opens the door and this fucking naked cannibal bitch comes out. She walks up to the girl, starts sniffing her and shit, 
comes up to her, legs spread open, reaches fucking in, pulls her fucking baby out, and just starts fucking eating the goddamn thing. I'm just like, holy shit. So the other girl gets rented out, and she goes into this motel room with this, these four guys, and it looks like they're gonna fucking kill her. She's all tied up and shit. The one guy, like, in the car, she was like, please set me free. He's like, you can trust me, you can trust me, don't worry about it. And so they get into this motel room, and he pulls out the camera, he's like, action! And then these guys are fucking with her, and he, this other dude comes out with a fucking chainsaw, and he just pulls out his gun and fucking blasts them all, kills them. Next thing you know, she's back in the car with him, he's filming her, he's like, we're going to Hollywood, and he injects her with fucking heroin, and they drive off into the sunset. So, that's damnation. So, now we cut back to the couple that rented the movies. They're sitting on the couch, the guy's wanting to take everything into the bedroom, the girl's like, wait, it's midnight, we gotta take the movies back. The guy's like, ah, whatever. I ain't worried about that guy. Doorbell rings. He goes and gets a pizza, brings it back. She's like, you better take that shit for the road. We got to take this back. That guy was serious. He's like, nah, nah, whatever. So she grabs a piece of pizza, takes a bite, spits it out. There's fucking worms and shit. So she opens the pizza box. There's razor blades, batteries, fucking screws, pieces of glass, all kinds of shit in the pizza box. So now all the people that were at the party, along with the store owner, come into these people's house. And they're like, late fee, late fee. You got to pay the late fee. I'm talking the Wolfman, the Dracula, the Frankenstein, the fucking goth guy, like everybody. They're all there in this little tiny fucking like trailer, it looked like. And they're all like, late fee, late fee. So the dude grabs a bat and he fucking starts swinging on motherfuckers. They get up, they end up just fucking his world up. And now he is the next movie. All right, so now for the things that I liked. I liked a lot, actually. It was a really fun movie. Other than the acting, which could be better, wasn't the greatest, um, there was a lot to like in this film. It was just fun. It kept me wondering what was next. This movie took a lot of chances. Chances that a lot of filmmakers would not take. But then again, this does come from the guys that produced The Hills Run Red. Now for what I didn't like. The execution just wasn't as good as I had hoped. The acting could be better. And really the only thing that kept me really entertained was Georgia Kate Hage. I think that's how you say her name. And that's because her ass, holy shit, her ass and her legs. In the end, this movie was really fun. And I'd give this a strong three out of five. So until next time, guys, stay smart, stay clean, keep the dream. Don't let the man get you down because if he does, he might start riding you and turn into a goddamn tentacle guy and just tear your shit up. Peace out.